Hello everyone, welcome to another epic tutorial. My name's Elliot Baring and today I'm going to be showing you how to automate tracks in Soundtrack Pro. So I'll launch Soundtrack and I've just got a little cool jazz walking bass section that I'm going to demonstrate automation on. So if you're not sure what automation is, well, it's recording a change in value over time, just like keyframing in After Effects or Final Cut. So the most common um, way of automating a track is to click on the show envelope icon on any of the tracks. This is this little triangle here. So if I click on that, you see it gives me a volume envelope and a pan envelope. Now I can simply double click on this line and add a keyframe point. So for example, I might want my track to start at zero or minus 96 dBs. And then I can double click and add another one, drag that up to zero dBs and have a smooth fade in. I then might want to just dip the volume down a little bit because I might have some dialogue over the top and I don't want it to overpower it. So now we've got another little. So you can see you can just double click on that line and then adjust the value. You can also click any of the keyframes and you can press delete or you can click and drag them around to change the value. You can also select them in a group by clicking and dragging over them and hitting delete. So now it's back to normal. You notice you can also automate the pan. I might want it to go from center to my very left channel. Okay, so I'll delete that and restore it. So that's one of the um, most common ways of automating tracks in Soundtrack Pro. You can see you can click on show envelopes and you can actually show all sorts of things like the width. You might want to keyframe that, um, but by default it just has volume and pan, so I'll hide that again. Now there's an even better way of automating a track, and it's more intuitive and much more natural. So to do that, we go to this little automation drop-down menu. You can see we've got three modes, read, latch, and touch. Well, read simply reads whatever automation was recorded back to you, so that's always selected by default. And latch and touch, well, let me show you what they do. I'm gonna start by using touch, what I'm going to do now is bring the clip back to the beginning of my sequence and I'm going to play the clip and then I'm just going to drag the volume slider and watch what happens. You can see it records those keyframes for me as I move the slider in real time. Now the touch mode will by default, as soon as I release the slider, Bring me back up to whatever the default volume was, which was, deep, um, which was 0 dBs in this case. So I'm going to release, and it's straight back up to 0 dBs. Now, if you weren't happy with that, you can just go over it and record new automation. You can see it's overwriting what I did there. And when I release, it will go back up to 0 dB. All right, now it's quite a sudden jump back up to zero dB, which is why I normally prefer to use the latch mode, which is exactly the same. I'll go back to the beginning. Except when you release it, it doesn't jump back up to zero dB. It will keep the current um, stage. So let's just bring that up, fade down. And when I let go, it stays on that value. Then I can Bring it up again and release it. So that's the only difference. Touch will bring your track um, back up to whatever the default volume was, whatever the first keyframe was when you started, which can cause a slight jump, whereas latch will just, um, when you release it, it will keep the keyframe that you last um, had, which is really nice. Now you can then go back in and you can select individual keyframes. You can adjust them manually. You can delete some. You can select this range, delete it if you weren't happy. So that was the latch and touch mode. But wait, there's more. Let me just start by deleting all these keyframes. Can you keyframe, for example, an effect? Well, yes, you can. So what I'm going to do is open my mixer. And also, I should mention, you can also automate it by adjusting the volume here. You can see that that does the same thing. Likewise, do some panning. All right, 
Anyway, we want to add an effect to this. So I'm going to right click in my insert and choose add effect. Let's add an EQ, a channel EQ. Now, it would be really cool and I expected this to work to just be able to hit play with the latch on. Bring in your high cut. Hit stop and play it back and hope that it had recorded that, but it hasn't. Which sucks, so I'm going to click reset, but there is a way to do this. So I can close this now that's applied to my track, I can close that. And you can see in my little effects tab in the bottom, I have got the channel EQ. If I click on the disclosure triangle, I can go down until I find something called uh, high cut. So I'm going to turn it on and then I want to use this high cut frequency. So all I need to do is click on the auto checkbox and it gives me a channel EQ high cut frequency envelope bar. So now I can do it. I can play it back. Let me just uh, bring the volume down. There we go. I can hit play. And you can see I can make it sound like I'm standing outside a club. all the way up. So you can automate using latch or touch any effect as well. You just have to select it. Maybe I'll add a delay, um, stereo delay. I'm going to click plus and now you can see I've got a stereo delay. I might click um, my drop down menu and I'll choose, let's have a look here. Let's adjust the left delay. You can see that was automatically checked, so I can start fiddling with these sections. So let me bring up my volume again so you can hear what I'm doing. And I'll hit play. It's in latch mode, ready to be played around with. All right, it sounds crap, but you get the idea. So that was automation in Soundtrack Pro. You can double click on an envelope and add a point or you can choose latch or touch and hit play and just move the sliders and it will record whatever you can or whatever you do sorry i fumbled that anyway i've been elliot bearing i hope this has been a useful tutorial for more check out our website epictutorials.com and if this was useful please subscribe to our channel like the video whatever until next time take it easy